everybody. Uh, coming to you again with another video doing pre-trip on the trailer. Uh, if you checked out the channel, you see I did the pre-trip on the truck. Now I'm going to do the pre-trip on the trailer. And then later on on my channel, I'll have a video for the pre-trip for the end cab. Let's get right into it. Now I got this trailer. All right, get into it. Hooked up to the trailer. Got my light up there. Want to make sure that light is working, is lit, properly mounted, secure, amber in color. All right, it's not cracked, damaged, or loose. Now we get to the front side of the trailer. They call this the bulkhead. You want to make sure there's no dents or it's not protruding out from when they're loading the trailer, uh, causing damage. Make sure all my rivets are present. Now we get down to the the emergency service and electrical lines. Before you hook all this up, you want to make sure that as far as the electrical box, you want to make sure that all the pins inside of here, they're all nice and straight, nothing's bent or broken. And then of, of course, on your service and your emergency air hookups, you want to make sure that the uh, grommets inside are not uh, cracked, damaged or loose, or make sure they, have, um, they don't have any abrasions, bumps or cuts. Uh, the box and the mounts are properly mounted and secure and they're not cracked, damaged, or loose, and they're not leaking any air. All right, now look down the side of the trailer. You got your DOT tape. It should be the length of the entire trailer. You should see this DOT go all the way down on both sides of the trailer. You wanna also make sure all your rivets are present. Make sure they're not uh, substituted with any bolts or anything because you know you get the wrong type of state trooper or DOT officer they might give you a ticket for that jump and it happens people tell you all the time so they're all present probably not secure nothing's cracked damaged or loose now when you get over here you want to get to your on the underside of the trailer you check your apron make sure that it's not cracked damaged and you wanna make sure it doesn't have any dents or anything. Now, when you look to how flush it is to, to the fifth wheel, that's how you want it. If you see any light coming in between there, that means you're high hooked to the trailer. You have to uncouple and then couple back up. Now, another thing too, like to, when I hook up to the trailer, I like to push this handle in and make sure it's all the way back because if it slides back when I push it, that means I have a poor, hook up and I need to rehook for safety. The trailer could come off while I'm driving or something, cause a, a really big tragic accident. We don't want that. So when you get back here, you wanna make sure that the king pin, also before you hook up to the trailer, you make sure your king pin is nice, properly uh, mounted and secure. It's not cracked, damaged or loose, and it's not bent or chipped or anything like that. When you hook up, you also wanna come to the back side and visually inspect backside and your connection and your hookup to the trailer. You want to make sure your locking jaw is completely around. It's inside there. It's, it's, it's dark. And I, when I unhook, I'll have another uh, show of that when I do the end cap video so you can see. But uh, yeah, you want to make sure that that locking jaw is all the way around that king pin. All right. To this part. You got your cross members these all cross members and they go the length of the trailer all the way down you want to make sure all of those are present make sure they're properly mounted secure they're not cracked damaged or loose and you want to make sure nothing's bent and all the bolts and rivets are present on them getting to the landing gear got the landing gear handle make sure that's properly mounted secure make sure it's not cracked damaged or loose and it's not bent and we also got our K, K, um, I forgot what they call it, like a uh, K cross member or something, uh, I forget, but I know it's K something. But you wanna make sure that that's properly mounted and secure. Make sure it's not cracked, damaged, or loose. Nothing's bent. All of the bolts are present, as well as the, uh, the landing gear shoes. They're probably mounted secure, not cracked, damaged, or loose, and they're not bent. And we're good there. Also, you, you want to also make sure that your your landing gear box, that it properly works. It's not cracked, damaged, or loose, or bent. It's 
probably most secure. Getting down to the center of the trailer, we have our blinker, our signal, turn signal, and it's properly mounted secure. It's not cracked, damaged, or loose on both sides. It's working, and they're both amber in color. All right, coming down here, we got our air lines, air holes. You want to make sure that they're properly mounted secure. They're not cracked, damaged, or loose. Make sure that they are at least 18 inches off the ground clearance at least 18 inches above or more uh, some some trailers have two of these spring hangers that hold up the airlines this one particularly has one and uh, you just want to make sure that that's properly mounted secure and holding the lines right also make sure your lines don't have any abrasions bumps or cuts getting down to our tandems all right we got our tandem locking pins and the tandem release handle you know this is how you when the truck the truck is on and there's air passing through when you pull this it will suck the locking the locking pins in and then you can adjust slide the trailer tandem forward or backwards uh, depending on you know your weight now that's probably not secure it's not cracked damage or loose our our lines don't have any abrasions, bumps, or cuts, and they are zip-tied and holding in the right place. Getting to our brakes. Their uh, brake chambers are, and the airlines, they're all properly mounted secure. And we have the um, push rod and slack adjuster back here on the back side. I know it's dark um, in the video, please forgive me. But I'm about to pull out here in a second just load down the road but everything's properly mounted and secure they're not cracked damaged or loose and uh, nothing's leaking our our brake lines the airlines they have no abrasions bumps or cuts you know you want to check your shock make sure it's properly mounted and secure it's not cracked damaged or loose and you want to make sure that it's not leaking any fluids all right now get into the the brake, the brake drum, the brake pads, they're all properly mounted secure. They're not cracked, damaged, or loose. And your brake pad should have at least a quarter inch or more of a pad on them up against the brake drum. And there should be no grease or any type of fluids in between them. Getting to our wheels, our tires and wheels, you know, we want to start, I was taught from outer inner inner outer tire the um you want to make sure that it's properly seated to the wheel make sure nothing is um have anything protruding out of it like a nail or screw or a bolt or anything is in the tire you want to make sure that the tires are evenly wearing on the top Make sure they have at least 100 PSI in them and they have at least 230 seconds tire tread depth. Uh, they make sure they don't have any abrasions, bumps, or cuts. Also, now getting to the wheel and between your wheels, since they're dual, you want to make sure that there's no debris inside the wheel that can cause it to uh, lock up or jam up the wheel. And because this is a dual wheel, you have two valve stems. The valve stems, the caps must be present. They have to be properly mounted secure, not cracked, damaged, or loose, or leaking air. And also, getting to this wheel, continuing the wheel, we got our lug nuts. They're properly mounted and secure. You know, nothing wrong with giving them a little hand twist to make sure that they're tightened. Uh, if they were loose and there was water seeping down, it, should, it would show rust streaks seeping through the... Uh, the lug nut meaning this loose or if it was too tight it would be metal shavings we got our uh, hub seal you want to make sure this is the seal you want to make sure that the hub and the seal itself aren't leaking any grease make sure it's properly mounted secure and it's not cracked damaged or loose if there was leaking it would leak grease and it'll be down here nice little grease puddle our wheel doesn't have any illegal welds it's properly mounted secure to the axle and the tire is nice and seated to this wheel. 
So we're good there. It's not bent. You know? Now you want to check your axle front and rear. Make sure it's probably not secure. It's not cracked, damaged, or loose. Or bent. All right. You would inspect this rear axle on the trailer the exact same way you inspected the front. Just a little time saver here. You know, as far as the tires, the wheels, the brakes, the hub and the hub seal itself, lug nuts, exact same way you would inspect it. We got our mud flap, uh, mud flap hanger. It's probably not secure. And the mud flap and the hanger itself, it's not cracked, damaged or loose or bent. And we have proper clearance from the ground on this mud flap. It's our APS light, it's properly mounted secure. It's not cracked, damaged or loose. And it, most importantly, it's not on. If it was on, it would indicate a malfunction in your ABS system somewhere, whether it's on the truck or the trailer. All right, we got our license plate, it's present. The light is working. It's properly mounted and secure. It's not cracked, damaged or loose. Now getting to back side of the trailer, all of our lights up top, the five lights, they're all working, properly mounted secure, not cracked, damaged, or loose, as well as our brake lights and tail lights. They're all properly mounted secure, not cracked, damaged, or loose. Got our DOT bumper, has the DOT tape on it. It's properly mounted secure, not cracked, damaged, or loose, and it is not bent. Good deal, all of our bolts are present. Now you wanna check all your hinges on both sides. Make sure they are properly mounted secure, not cracked, damaged, or loose, and all nuts and bolts are present. All right. And take both lot, uh, uh, the, I forgot what you call that light, but that light you would check on both sides as well as your blinker and your light up at the top of the corner and the front of the trailer. That would conclude our pre-trip of the trailer. And that's it. Just safety first, people.